Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're diving into a topic that affects millions of people around the world, which is vitamin D3 deficiency. Vitamin D3, also known as colocalciferol, is an essential nutrient that plays a crucial role in various bodily functions. Vitamin D3 deficiency, also known as hypovitaminosis D, occurs when there is an insufficient amount of vitamin D3 in the body. Vitamin D3 deficiency can occur due to various factors. The first cause is inadequate sunlight exposure. Vitamin D3 is often referred to as the sunshine vitamin because the skin synthesizes it when exposed to sunlight. People who spend little time outdoors or live in regions with limited sunlight may be at a higher risk of deficiency. Cause number two is dietary insufficiency. Vitamin D3 is found in certain foods such as fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, tuna, fortified dairy products, and egg yolks. If your diet lacks these sources or you have dietary restrictions, you may not get enough vitamin D3. Cause number three, darker skin tones. Melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color can reduce the skin's ability to produce vitamin D3 in response to sunlight. People with darker skin tones may require more sun exposure to maintain sufficient levels. Cause number four is aging. As people age, their skin's ability to produce vitamin D3 diminishes. Additionally, older individuals may spend less time outdoors and have less efficient nutrient absorption contributing to deficiency. Cause number five is obesity. Vitamin D3 is fat-soluble and it can be sequestered, trapped, in fat tissues, making it less available for use in the body. Obese individuals may require higher vitamin D3 intake to compensate for this. Cause number six is malabsorption disorders. Some medical conditions that affect the gastrointestinal tract can lead to malabsorption of nutrients, including vitamin D3. These can include celiac disease, Crohn's disease, chronic pancreatitis, ulcerative colitis, short bowel syndrome, and bariatric surgery. Cause number seven, kidney problems. The conversion of vitamin D3 into its active form, calcitriol, occurs in the kidneys. If you have impaired kidney function, it can affect the production of active vitamin D3. Another cause can be medications. Some medications can interfere with vitamin D3 metabolism or absorption. This can be medications such as certain anticonvulsants, glucocorticoids, and weight loss drugs. The ninth cause can be liver disorders. The conversion of vitamin D3 into its active form also partially occurs in the liver. Liver diseases can disrupt this process and lead to lower vitamin D3 levels. The final cause can be a result of strict sun protection. Excessive use of sunscreen or protective clothing may reduce the skin's ability to produce vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 synthesis in the skin is initiated by the action of UVB radiation from the sun on a specific form of cholesterol that is present in the skin cells. Now that we understand the causes of vitamin D3 deficiency, we'll take a look at the symptoms. The first one is bone and muscle pain. Vitamin D3 is vital for calcium absorption and bone health. A deficiency can result in weakened bones and muscles, leading to pain, tenderness, and muscle weakness. The second symptom can be bone deformities. In severe cases, vitamin D3 deficiency during childhood can cause rickets, a condition characterized by soft, weak bones, resulting in bowed legs, abnormal bone growth, and skeletal deformities. The third symptom is an increased susceptibility to infections. Vitamin D3 plays a role in supporting the immune system. And its deficiency may lead to a weakened immune response, making individuals more prone to infections and illnesses. 
Symptom 4 can be a feeling of fatigue and weakness. A lack of vitamin D3 can contribute to generalized fatigue, leading to weakness and reduced energy levels. The next symptom, number 5, is depression and mood swings. Some studies suggest a connection between vitamin D3 deficiency and mood disorders. Low levels of vitamin D3 may be associated with an increased risk of depression and anxiety. Symptom 6 is impaired wound healing. Vitamin D3 is involved in the process of wound healing. And a deficiency might slow down the healing of cuts, bruises, and other injuries. Another symptom may be hair loss. While not a common symptom, some individuals with severe and prolonged vitamin D3 deficiency may experience hair loss. Insufficient vitamin D3 levels may disrupt the normal function of hair follicles and lead to hair thinning and hair loss. The final symptom is bone loss and osteoporosis. Vitamin D3 plays a critical role in calcium absorption, which is essential for maintaining bone health. When there is a deficiency of vitamin D3, the body's ability to absorb calcium from the diet is impaired, leading to reduced bone density over time. This leads to the development of osteoporosis, a condition characterized by weak and brittle bones, making them more susceptible to fractures. Now we'll find out about the food sources of vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is primarily synthesized in the skin when it is exposed to sunlight. However, it can also be obtained through certain dietary sources. There are relatively few natural food sources of vitamin D3. Here we'll look at some examples. A good source is fatty fish. Fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, trout, and tuna, are excellent sources of vitamin D3. Consuming cooked or canned fish can provide significant amounts of this vitamin. Another great source is cod liver oil. Cod liver oil is rich in vitamin D3 and is available as a dietary supplement. It's important to follow the recommended dosage as excessive intake of cod liver oil can lead to vitamin toxicity. Egg yolks are another source of vitamin D3. Egg yolks contain small amounts of vitamin D3. However, the vitamin D content may vary depending on the diet and lifestyle of the hens. Cheese is also a source. Some types of cheese, such as Swiss and cheddar, contain modest amounts of vitamin D3. The exact amount can vary, depending on the specific cheese variety. Lastly, are mushrooms. Certain types of mushrooms, such as shiitake and maitake mushrooms, synthesize vitamin D2, which is a precursor to D3, when exposed to ultraviolet light. This process increases their vitamin D content. What about vitamin D3 supplements? Vitamin D3 supplements contain the active form of vitamin D, known as cholecalciferol. Vitamin D3 supplements are commonly used to address vitamin D deficiency or insufficiency. Let's learn more about vitamin D3 dosage. The appropriate dosage of vitamin D3 supplements depends on individual needs, and it is best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the right dose for you. Dosages typically vary based on age, weight, health status, and the severity of the deficiency. These are the recommended dietary allowances, RDAs, for vitamin D3. You can also find a copy in the description of the video. Vitamin D requirements can change based on specific circumstances, and some people may require higher doses, especially if they have limited sun exposure, darker skin, malabsorption issues, or other risk factors for vitamin D deficiency. How the body absorbs vitamin D3 is important. Vitamin D3 is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning it is absorbed best when taken with a meal containing some fat or oil. This enhances its absorption and utilization by the body. Vitamin D3 requires the presence of dietary fat to form micelles, which are tiny lipid droplets, that aid in its absorption during digestion. Micelles transport D3 to the intestinal cells, where it is absorbed into the bloodstream. 
Monitoring Vitamin D3 Levels in the Body If you are taking vitamin D3 supplements to address a deficiency, it is essential to monitor your vitamin D levels regularly through blood tests. This helps to adjust the dosage and ensures that you reach and maintain optimal levels. Vitamin D3 and Magnesium Vitamin D3 metabolism requires magnesium. Magnesium is involved in converting vitamin D3 into its active form, calcitriol, in the kidneys. Therefore, magnesium deficiency can impair the proper activation of vitamin D, even if there is sufficient vitamin D3 intake. These are the recommended dietary allowances, RDAs, for magnesium. You can also find a copy of these in the description below. Individual needs may vary, based on factors such as, activity level, medical conditions, and medications. Some people may require higher magnesium intake, such as those with medical conditions, like diabetes. Or individuals experiencing excessive sweating, due to intense physical activity, or hot weather. We really do hope you found the information in this video helpful. Please remember, that the material in this video, is for informational and educational purposes. If you have any medical concerns, please seek medical attention. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. We wish you the greatest health and happiness.